OK, so this is SmartSign booting up into the uh, Windows 10. And then you'll see the SmartSign sign. After a while, you'll be greeted with the application settings page. Now, when you first run it, you may need to license the software. You can see the red bar at the top saying to license it. To do that, we could only just scroll down to the license area. Don't worry, we'll go over all of these other settings in a moment. To license it, we're going to go down to device information. And we're going to click here on change. I'll bring up the box, which will show our device ID. And this is something that Broadcast Radio will ask for as part of the licensing. Tap in the license code that you've been given and click on OK. And then as long as the license code is correct, then that red bar goes away and you are free to start configuring your smart sign light. At the bottom, it says automatic collect some anonymous usage data. That is on by default. And click on the link there to find out a little bit more about it. So right at the start then, in general, the background, we're going to leave that one to be black. And then the size, the number of rows and columns which you can set, and also the margin between each tile. Next is the GPIO, the general purpose input output pin configuration. There's a variety of virtual pins and also physical pins, which we'll take a look at when it comes to setting up our smart display a little later on. Scroll down that big long list. We'll configure one of those a little later on. Also here, relay GPIO to the broadcast radio hardware server. That is a way to interact with any of the Myriad products. We also have restart device and shutdown device as well. Very important that you do it from those areas to save any issues. And this is the default configuration. And uh, we're just going to hit on go to have a look at that. And so you can see we've got some clocks here. Uh, UK time, some Abu Dhabi time, New York and also Sydney and some on-air indications and Mike Live indications as well. That is the default view, the default setup. We also have a close button there which would close the smart sign application and return you back to Windows 10 Internet of Things. We're not going to do that. We are going to go back into our application settings. And we're going to scroll right down to the bottom and we're going to delete all of the tiles so that we can start fresh. We can go through everything that you can add to your smart sign light layout.